so um, I found out that I can actually do this without straining my shoulder. Um, I'm currently having it set up. I've got the wheel free. The stand is holding, so that's great. Um, I'm going to be cleaning the chain today because it's gross. Just so you know, my entire bike is absolutely gross. I'll show you a little bit. It's just riding in winter in the United Kingdom is uh, a bit. It's a, it's a bit of a never-ending problem with dirty bikes. So. But because I will not be riding until January, I found out that I figured I could clean at least the chain and um, prepare the bike for the mods or upgrades that I've got coming. And uh, let's get our hands dirty. Three hours later. So we're a little bit later and I ended up removing this plate and this skid plate so I could also clean the shock absorber. The reason for that is because I will have a um, shock protector coming at some point so if this is already nice and clean the next time I'm going to work on it I'll have to just do a, like a minor rinse. Uh, the, the chain itself is decently clean. Um, it's about as clean as it's going to get without me having to take it off. Um, the um, sprocket's nice and clean. Um, I'm going to clean the rim on this side as well. The other side is clean. I'm not going to clean the whole bike of course but it went a little bit out of hand in that I removed some parts just to get a better reach at the shock. Uh, the rear suspension basically. Um, I'm actually not sure if I should adjust it yes or no because I don't weigh much. It's currently actually standard. There's five uh, settings and I think it's on three which is medium. Um, I'm looking at trying to see if I should change that. So now I've taken this part off um, which definitely needs a little bit of a clean. <laughs> that off uh, but I'll have to put it back. In the meantime, first I'm going to loop the chain and then clean the rims and um, when that's done I'll put the parts back on. Um, this used to be green, just like my hands used to be. Well I just washed them. Um, I will get a nice bruise here on my thumb because when I was leveraging one of the bolts I hit myself on the the uh, passenger place. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's not like I don't already have enough injuries or anything. But that's fine. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So this is what I call Hades, this is my bike, um, 
Yeah, it's a very. Yeah, I think it's a very nice bike. I think it's very underrated as it is. So when I turn it on, that's what it looks like. It came with this aero exhaust system on it. The only real thing that I have done so far is install that. I recently upgraded this for something else than like this one. Uh, I had some shitty Amazon one. Don't do that. So I installed these adjustable levers. Um, I currently have them quite close to the handlebar. They can fold up in case I fall, which has happened a few times. Got a USB charger that I have installed. That's right there. And just plug in right there. Um, I am going to upgrade this because it's not great. The glue here is the glue here is letting go. And that needs to be improved. But for now, it does the job. I'm also going to give you a proper sound sample because last time I gave it a sound sample, it was very windy, and now it's quite quiet in terms of wind so I figured I'd give you a proper sound sample of what my bike actually sounds like and why people sometimes mistake it for something more than it actually is.